right everyone so ever since i did the eu a3 and a1 open category video there's been a lot of people asking about what about my a2 cfc i want an a2 cfc and be able to fly in mainland eu so now it's it gets interesting okay so there's no current deal between rcaa and yasa that they can cross over okay now a lot of people slated and weren't happy that we left yasa and we couldn't use our a2 cfc overseas however it now looks like it might be a blessing in disguise for the gbc dash specific holders for them be very grateful we're not part of yasa that will come in another video i will do a bit on the differences between the two but holy crap be grateful we did not get that if you're a pfco holder or operational authorization gbc holder just be grateful we did not get that okay so back to the a2 so you want an a2 you want to fly in europe and you'll be able to fly across the whole eu now first of all just so you know if you're an operator or you've got a flyer id they work across the whole of the eu so every country can check each other's databases okay they are interlinked okay basically now the other thing is of course you want to do your a2 cfc in english at least i assume you want to do it in english you know so an operator from the uk will need to set up and do the irish aviation authority so basically we're going to do the non-eu persons okay we can get our uas registration number or basically i'll do more as operator id equivalent through them now that's right so the irish aviation authority the iaa can basically get us our oper uh, operator id okay and this number will be valid across the whole of the eu okay so this will become your important bit now i will put the link to what where you need to go to do this below in the description okay so your first thing is right you're going to set up an account with the iaa okay this process is a little convoluted but essentially involves your name and email activate your account through an email sent to you okay you'll input some details okay um and then it could be your passport for example so you'll have to put a bit in and they do do a check so it can take a little bit of time 48 hours for these checks to go ahead okay however if the address on the id is different from the details you provide that, that will can hold up the process okay so when you're doing it i will again put this in the description you must keep everything correct okay then then you're going to register as an operator okay and then now you can complete the a1 and a3 remote pilot course okay within this account now there's a short video and then 44 multiple questions now if you've done the luxembourg version okay i will put in the description what you've basically got to do so you can actually skip that you don't have to do the open category if you've done your luxembourg you don't have to they can actually get linked into this account the details on how to do that will be in the description below so you've registered you can either do your a1 and a3 okay now you need a company you can go to and you know are going to do it right for you okay now you're going to do it with um, safe drone okay now these guys they are in ireland you will do the first part of the course online okay so they do like an online section where you will learn about the a2 okay you'll do that and that's e-learning okay the second half of that will then be with them on a zoom call okay so it's split in two parts here one part is all e-learning one part will be a zoom call okay and then you'll do the it's very similar basically to our uk a2 so it's theory self-practical online exam 
Okay, that's what you're going to end up doing. You will then apply for an open A2 certificate through the IAA system, okay? And when this application is made, Safe Drone Academy recommend the award to the MyR system, which is the web portal you're gonna to go to. And they provide a step-by-step -step lesson for that within the course. So when you do your Safe Drone Academy and you do the actual course with them, part of it is how to actually apply for your A2, okay? Then you'll download the PDF A2 Certificate of Competency, okay? And this will be valid in the EU for five years, okay? You must keep on person hard or digital copy when flying, okay? As you move between each new country, there'll be no need to approach aviation authorities to let them know you are flying, okay? This covers you through the whole of the EU, plus, plus Norway, Greenland, and Switzerland, because they have a reciprocal deal with the um, YASA, okay? Those three countries are also thrown in for free, okay? So not only do you get the whole of the EU, you get the three other countries as well. Now, again, so I will put all of this, how to do, where to go, all the links, the link to the company to go and do your A2 with, it will all be in the um, in the description below, okay? Well, this is it, guys. This is your A2, okay? Doesn't matter if you've already got your Luxembourg one. Uh, at the bottom of the description, you'll see the instructions on what to do if you've got that. You don't have to do it. The, e the Irish Aviation Authority do charge 29 is it 29 euros or 39 euros to do the A1 and A3? You don't have to do it with them if you've done the Luxembourg. Okay, so you can do the free Luxembourg one if you want, then go across. But actually, if you've not done anything, I recommend you just do it all through the Irish Aviation Authority. Okay, that's the way I recommend you do it. Just do it all there. The course is 149 euros. Okay, so it's not extortionate. You know, you look at 140 pounds, thereabouts. Uh, Mark, who runs the Safe Drone Academy, and the I, he, he's a great guy. Okay, so when you apply for your A2 CFC as well, there is a cost. It's forty five euros, and you'll pay that to the Irish Aviation Authority. Okay, and your registration is thirty euros as well to the Irish Aviation Authority. So in all, you are going to spend a bit of money here. Okay, you are looking by the time you're done. It'll be, it'll be just over 200 euros, okay? It's, it's a little bit long-winded at times, but, you know, it is now possible to get your A2 C of C and be able to fly in all EU countries and you do not have to notify when you go to each one. How is that, everyone? Right, I don't normally say this, okay? But if you like the video, subscribe. Big thank you to Michael. Michael Ken, who runs his own uh, drone company. I'm very grateful to Michael. He put me onto this. Um, so, Michael, um, I owe you a beer. Um, and also to Mark, who owns and runs the drone safe course. Um, he's a great guy as well. Okay. So, he's doing the safe drone course. He's, I get it the wrong way around. I do apologise, Mark. It's safe, safe drone courses. That were doing it, um, but yeah, um, guys, the A2 CFC for the EU, you know, go check out the web page, all the links, everything is in the video description. Okay, have a great weekend, everyone. Cheers.